hello it's Sarah and I have three more bottles of hope guys this is it I have nine all together now and I have to decide which four I'm going to submit to um, for judging there's like they're having a challenge which it's obviously to make um, to cover some bottles with clay I'm gonna donate them obviously but um, I can also be entered into it's going to be for um, I think the members of uh, polymer clay adventure to vote um, so I'm not sure there's different categories they have texture um, one was caning I know that and I didn't use any caning um, hoping to learn a lot more about caning um, with the Palmer Clay Adventure classes. But anyway, so let me just share the ones I made today because I am in love with these. I mean, I think each each one I made, I got a little, I was getting the feel for it. Um, so these are the ones I made today. Today I made, the first one I made was this um, applique one again. And I, cause I straightened out my hope. See how, remember yesterday I showed um, the other one I did and my hope was crooked and you couldn't see it as well I just totally it bothers me I mean I love the bottle because I love the top and everything like I love the back of it <laughs> I just I'm just saying I mean I'm my own worst critic and I didn't like the way I put those texture dots on there so I just changed that um, and basically I just rubbed a little bit of blue um, perfect pearls on this clay just to give it a little shimmer I used a flower bead glass bead at the top a hope charm just like I've done on the rest and basically it's the same design but my hope is straight it's not driving me nuts now I forgot to put my initials on the bottom of all these which annoys me <sighs> but anywho I'm very happy with these because I mean as obviously as the day you know after three days of making these I'm getting you know it's getting tweaked each time I tweak my technique so um, really happy with these so this one was the first one then of course I had to in the um, I was inspired by this ATC that I did I made this one next and I did put a, a bead this is a glass star bead and it was cool because it had I used black clay because I really loved how this one turned out with the black clay um, but I wanted to um, and, and this was black clay too I mean um, but anyway and then putting the mica powders all around it so and all I did was just take different colors of clay and make swirlies all around I did a heart and I added bling here and there those big blings that I had um, I think three on this one a couple little ones if I um, there was a space that needed filling I put a bling and like made a flower so I kind of added applique to this one where I did, hadn't done that on the um, <clears throat> On here, I mean, I kind of made flowers, but I didn't use the applique technique with the toothpick like I did for these flowers. So that was that one, and I didn't stamp hope into it. I just put this nice charm I have. Oh, there are, I already put them away. But these are those charm alongs or something that Michaels has, and I only had one hope. I have two packs of them, but I only have one hope, but I love that hope charm. So I put that on that one and then the big one, the super big one, um, I did the same thing. I just blinged it up with one of each of my big colors, a white, a pink, and a blue. There's the pink and there's the blue. And then of course a heart. I put a heart and then I didn't stamp hope again. I just covered it with swirlies. And then I just added the um, mica powders like in that color. So if there was a purple swirly, I put purple there. I put pink there. I put green there. I put the color. There's a blue. So I put blue mica powder. Whatever color was near it, I put that color mica powder. And I love this one. I put a little bit of a more purpley kind of iridescent bead and just a hope and a heart made with love charm. So that, these, I am loving this. And the way I figured out how to do the bottle, Crafty Goat is, she's a dot com too. She has a blog. And I even saw her on like a, a TV show one time 
doing, um, I think she wrapped pencils with clay. Like, she's a clay artist. Crafty goat. <coughs> but, sh that's the video that they refer you to to watch. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Um, Polymer Clay Adventure refers you to that her video to show you how to make the clay bottles. So, I just kind of have figured it out since the very first bottles I made where I just kind of laid clay over it and like mushed it in to fit. This one I did in sections. I just covered it this much with clay, then I did the neck with clay, and then the final piece was this little piece at the top. Um, so that I didn't squish it all up while I was holding the bottle. I could kind of hold it like this at top and bottom. Um, so, you know, you just learn little by little. This one, I started to figure it out. I kind of added these layers of clay here. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, and this one, I started to figure it out, too. I started tw just twisting clay up into the top of it to kind of fill in the neck. But, um, of course, the last ones I did, I definitely did them... Um, the neatest, I think. I think that the covering the bottle itself turned out the neatest. Um, they just look, I don't know, less lumpy and bumpy. Like, I hid this whole neck. I hid it because it just looked, I don't know, I didn't like it. I, I wanted to make another one of these, but then I totally got, I got, like, but see how that neck, I, I mean, it looks like a different bottle. It's the same bottle, but I covered it with another layer of clay, so it made it thicker. Anyway, I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do, I want to do this one, the dragonfly, um, I'm calling this one dragonfly. I'm going to enter this one because I just like the colors and it's just simple and I like it. So I'm entering that one. I definitely have to enter an applique one. Um, it's probably going to have to be this one because I feel like it turned out the cleanest. So that one will be one of them. Definitely one of these. I got to do the big one. I'm going to do the big one and maybe this one, the pink one. I really like this one though. It's just simple, but I don't know what the techniques are. It's just stamping. I guess the technique would just be stamping on that. That's a good technique to have. Because, um, oh, this one. See, I did the texture background on this one, but it, it turned out better because I did it three, 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 three. I didn't just put it everywhere. I like it, though. All right. So I've enjoyed these so much. And, I mean, I really actually, I'm going to donate all these, but I might want to just make one to have at least. I have this little bottle sitting here. This is just a tiny one. I already made a lid for this one. I just put a tiny little bead on that. But look how tiny that is compared to, I mean, it's super tiny. But it could be like a charm or just, um, a dangle off of off of a project or something but this is all I have left I'm at, I'm out of big bottles again so I got to go to Michael's and get because the Tim Holtz packs comes with these three let's see these three big ones and then like six or five little ones like little tiny ones three skinny ones anyway all right I'm just babbling now but anyway you guys I Hope you enjoyed these. I'm pro I don't want to keep showing you my bottles of hope because I mean, I'm just I'm kind of making so many, um, but they are really fun to make, um, and I've enjoyed them. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.